They hit the ground running and not stop till after the election in 2020. And even then we won't stop. So no, yeah, we don't. We yeah. never stop. <laughs> Take, you know, the in 2016, and uh, I was up, but we didn't get the election results till quite late. And uh, I was wired, you know, and I couldn't, mm -hmm. I tried to go, we found out that President Trump had won and that some of our local candidates had won, got the results on that. Mm -hmm. And I went home and went to bed and I was, you know, tossing and turning and tossing and turning. So I got up and went out and pulled yard signs from the schools because the schools just thrown them away. And, uh, but so my, that's my what, reason I brought that up is we were, we then got together for breakfast that morning and started talking about the next campaign. Uh, there's and always another one. <laughs> there's always, yeah. What, and there's a lot in politics, what have you done for me lately? Mm -hmm. uh, which I get. And, uh, but you know you can't rest on your laurels. But uh, the we are proud of what we've accomplished, and I'm proud of my record. But what are we going to do now is what matters. It matters to the party and to the voters. Mm -hmm. And what Susan's going to do now, and I, you know, I would not have uh, not run. Is that total negative? Anyway, I would have run if I hadn't felt that I had someone who I had confidence in to take good care of the party. And uh, so Susan's that person, and I've been telling everybody I know, 